assalamu alaikum friends so from today we will start another topic question and answers uh, like last video is ups and battery charges chargers so uh, today we will discuss related the all question and answer uh, related to the battery and ups same like that whatever i upload uh, before transformers cables or any other videos so i will make one by one all question and answers which one mostly asking by in the interviews or uh, whatever uh, i face in my experience and you can also comment whatever you have a question so i can answer that one there so inshallah we will try to learn this all related to standards and it sure it will helpful for all and you can build your confidence how to attend the interviews so i will in try to inform everything in that videos so stay with me inshallah we will discuss from today today is our topic ups and battery assalamu alaikum friends so today we have a topic ups and batteries question and answers so we can discuss in this video whatever i face the questions in my experience and you can write also in the comments if you have any questions so i will try to answer that so let's start uh, whatever the questions uh, maybe they can ask in our interviews so which type of battery can use indoor and outdoor so in the if you saw my video there is a very well explained by batteries lead calcium and uh, antimony pastel flat batteries can use indoor and nickel cadmium battery we use outdoor which type of lighting fixture used in battery room in the battery room we can use enclosed type gas kitted and corrosion resistance vapor tights that type of uh, lighting fixture we shall use in the battery room battery room lux battery room lux is a uh, normal like uh, normal power supply should be 300 but in case of emergency it should be like 100 how many layer of battery can install in one rack in one rack uh, if the rack is installed near the wall and assess is from only one side then two layers but if the racks are middle of the battery room then uh, front and back if both side we have assessed then four layers which type of tile required in battery room in the battery room uh, electrolyte resistance like acid or alkali that one should be resistance and durable that kind of uh, tiles we shall use in battery room distance between light and ceiling so which lighting fixture we install in the battery room that distance uh, from uh, light to ceiling is 300 mm distance between battery cells okay whatever we install the cells cells mean like our uh, batteries so each battery have 10 mm distance between uh, battery to battery for airflow distance front side of batteries so front side of battery rack or panel inside the battery room there uh, should be one meter distance floor to battery distance is uh, 5 mm which type of conduit can use inside the battery room inside the battery room uh, we, we use uh, pvc coated rgs conduit uh, used inside the battery room test of batteries a uh, test of batteries is uh, normally uh, we will check that electrolyte of uh, uh, value of that uh, one it's already discussed in our videos if you saw that one and second thing we will uh, like a connections torquing grounding it's all we do the perform the testing like continuity of the grounding and the bus uh, bus part continuity and the battery electrolyte whatever we are using inside that chemical we have to check the value of that one grounding detection okay G. door opening uh, battery room door shall be open outside not inside the battery room 
दिस इज वेरी मेन इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड द बैटरी रूम डोर इज only separate entrance not you know the mostly inside the plant battery room and substations are connected to each other the wall is uh, like you can say one uh, both room are in same location same area but the battery room door shall not open inside the substation the battery room door separate separate entrance and it should be open outside ओके जी बैटरी लाइफ सो यू कैन सी इन द स्टैंडर्ड और आवर इन द वीडियो द बैटरी लाइफ नॉर्मल इज लाइक ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बट इफ फ्लडेड एरिया इट्स टेन ईयर हाइड्रोजन परसेंटेज इन द बैटरी रोम शुड बी लेस दैन थ्री परसेंट केबल लॉस इज विच वन वी यूज देयर पावर केबल दैट वन इज ऑल्सो थ्री परसेंट लेस दैन थ्री परसेंट एंड हाइड्रोजन इज आई थिंक वन परसेंट नॉट श्योर बट यू कैन सी इन द वीडियो वन परसेंट सेग्रीगेशन ऑफ केबल सेग्रीगेशन ऑफ केबल मीन द दिस इज जस्ट इन द लास्ट इंटरव्यू दे आस्क मी दैट क्वेश्चन द बैटरी सोर्स लाइक वन इज वी आर गोइंग टू चार्ज द बैटरी सो वन इज लाइक अ नॉर्मल पावर सप्लाई in case of emergency there is a generator power supply and the third uh, the cable is going which one going from the uh, after batteries to the other uh, which one we are going to use the supply for our equipments so all cables should be separate like separate conduits or separate trays are separate they we cannot bring them in one cable tray or we cannot bring in one any conduit or it should be separate uh, you know the separate sources like separate trays or separate conduits 50 kva less than single phase two or three wire or four wire uh, ups system and over 50 kva that one is the three phase uh, ups system uh, we will install minimum tiles uh, required on wall the which one is like uh, i said uh, we can say on the wall up to battery rack but 2200 mm we can say with the wall wall should be there if full wall of cover with the tile that one is more good but minimum 2200 mm like 2.2 meter we can say not mm 2.2 meter how many cycle operation charge discharge lead calcium battery are acceptable per year so lead calcium um, as we discuss in the video that one is not suitable for more charge and discharge it's per year uh, five cycle only uh, that battery can work good we are a lab where we can use that kind of battery we can use flooded batteries where cannot use in that place we will use vrla that battery life is 10 year or less than 10 kva ups for pv system pv mean uh, photovoltaic system like now our days mostly uh, outdoor lighting fixture like solar and uh, photovoltaic system we are using that one there is a battery there is a, uh, there is a solar trays and uh, that one is connection with the lighting fixture that one is called pv system so that one which we use lead acid nickel cadmium battery battery shall not install enclosure inside a battery room okay ji batteries shall not be installed in enclosure inside a battery room battery shall, shall be installed in battery racks outdoor if we are going to install the batteries then there should be enclosure but inside the battery room not enclosure battery shall not install in class 1 and division 1 location class 1 division 2 location we can install that one you know classes uh, we already discuss in our uh, previous videos that's why i told you the classes and zones very important in uh electrical field as a qc inspector you should know very well about classes because our material whatever we are going to use it will be discussed there uh we can say the, our material uh, 
which kind of material we can choose for that area so how we know if we know the classes and zones then we can choose that material